Now I had an idea the other day of a new for a new piece, and uh, it's going to involve a herd of horses, a stampede, and something that may be real hard for me to do: have them coming out of the sky and coming down onto the ground. I don't know. It may not work. Um, I'm going to try it and see what happens. I've got uh, this wire. It's not copper uh, tubing like I thought it was. It's actually wire and it's uh, pretty darn hard, uh, stiff. So I can probably make the armature for the horses to be attached to. And this is how big the horses will be. This size right here. And I'm going to be sculpting in uh, Victory Brown Wax, which is dark. It's going to be hard to see it. So I've got to figure out what I'm going to do to make it easier for you to see. But anyway, I'm going to get started on the armature at least. Um... Got to figure out what exactly I'm going to do here. I don't know how much of it I'm going to show because if you want to learn how to do this, the horses, I've got a uh, couple of uh, instructional videos on that, and I'm not uh, going to give away free information here. I have to make a living, and uh, selling my instructional videos is part of that living. There we go. I'm a little tired. I've been out cutting the lawn all day. That's uh, always a treat. <laughs> I'm going to use a C-clamp as a blacksmith's <laughs> uh, anvil. I just want to double this uh, wire only because I want some extra strength in the wire. I'm going to be making the armatures uh, for the horses out of baling wire, something you can get at uh, any hardware store. I'm not totally sure that you can get this in hardware stores in big cities, unless there's farming communities nearby, uh, because it's uh, for baling, basically. Drill two holes, one for each wire. I'm going to do it right there. Oh, yeah, that goes down there nicely.
I'm putting a curve in it because I want to have uh, different views of the horses. And it's like they're coming down a mountainside. Yeah, I like that. And I got this at the uh, hardware store. It's uh, got compartments and I put uh, different size screws in it. And I'm looking for a one-incher. Two of them. It just keeps everything separate and in one place so that you're not stacking up your studio with a bunch of containers with different things in them. And now I'm going to put this screw right at the edge of the hole. Oh, yeah, I better put the uh, drill bit in. That locks in uh, the uh, armature and in position and everything. Okay, I'm going to put one more screw on the other one. These screws will be covered by the base. There we go. Now I want a little extra support. I don't need anything really big. But I do need some support. So. Again, I put the uh, brace in a hole and I make that hole. Uh, I tighten it with a screw at the base of the uh, armature. Now I would normally use uh, uh, electrician's tape to anchor this to the armature, but I'm going to go ahead and use some wax instead because it'll hold it just as well. And when it hardens it uh, will hold it really well. It's not going to be a lot of weight on it, uh, but this just keeps the thing from moving on me. All right. For next time, I'll be working on the uh, armatures. I'm just going to let this sit and come back to it next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. Alright, see you next time.